Hello friends, this is Eli from Mystic Circuits. I'm here today at Perfect Circuit in order to show off some of our new modules, including tree and leaves. Tree, some of you might already be familiar with. It's a sequential switch that we came out a couple years ago. Um, with the intention of releasing further expanders for it and with our most recent restock of tree, which now includes our beautiful purple panels, we were able to also go ahead and put out the first one of our expanders that we're gonna be releasing for this. So for those of you that don't know, tree is a sequential switch. It has eight positions, meaning that it can take, and it's bi-directional, which means that it can take one of eight signals and send it to one destination, or it can take um, one signal and send it to one of eight destinations. And the way that it does that, um, normally speaking, would be by using a clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpatch this a little bit so that y'all can see. Basically what we have going on here is one of our signals from Tides, which I'm gonna go ahead and just have it free running. Tides is currently working like an LFO and that makes it so that we're able to clock tree really easily just using the frequency control on tides, right? So frequency goes up, it moves faster, frequency goes down, it moves slower. You can see the current position of where tree is based on the light. And these lights are rainbow to help you keep track of where you are in the sequence. And they're also synchronized as you can see with all of these leaves, the leaves are all expanding on the tree. So all of these modules are tied together and you can see the position of where it is based on the light. Like I said, one thing is connected to one of eight places and in order to send it sort of to the next place, you send it a clock. So there's a jack right here. This jack is connected to whichever of these jacks the light is on next to. I realize that might be a little advanced, but for those, you can think of it as like a switch where you're turning it, right? You know, those rotary switches, which let you like select the waveform or the filter type. And that sort of lets you select which one of these eight things you're touching, right? Or which one of these eight things are being sent to this jack. Now you have your sort of normal sequencer controls. You've got your clock, you have your reset, which sets it back to the first step and then you have direction. So whenever a gate is high while a clock is on and direction is on, it'll make it start to go backwards. So you can see it's sort of like ping ponging the sequence. Um, the unique thing about tree are these shift inputs. And what the shift input does is it temporarily shifts the position of your sequence by a predetermined amount while the gate is on, right? And so if that sounds complicated, it really isn't. Like if you look at the sequence position is right here based on the clock. If I patch into shift plus one, you'll notice that the uh, sequencer is moving one step forward whenever I have a gate present at that input. When I do shift by two, you can see it's shifting two forward, and then shift by four is shifting four forward, right? And the cool thing about this is that they all add together. So if I do shift by one and shift by two, you get the first four steps because sometimes one of the gates is on and the other is off. So the combination of those two gates gives you four steps, and then shift by four gives you all eight steps, right? And you can see now that we have a pretty complicated pattern going on here just by using a couple of gates or LFOs, any sort of thing you can mix and match, which leads to really interesting results. And you have what started out as a normal eight step sequence is now a sort of like eight possibility sequence, right? You're going through these eight different states of your synth. You have all of your leaves giving voltages to your other parts. And then you have um, tree, which is selecting which parts of your, your patch are connected to each other. And by using these gates to scrub through all of the different positions of your sequence, you're able to sort of select which one of those eight possibilities is happening. Uh, the cool thing about these shift inputs is that they work in conjunction with the clock. So you'll see shifting by one, if I plug into the clock, you're still getting the forward backwards motion of the shift by one in conjunction with the normal clock stepping through the sequence, right? So as you can sort of tell, there are a lot of really complicated possibilities for how to attack tree in such a way that gives you a lot of um, different sort of patterns very flawlessly, right? That's enough for tree. Let's move on to leaves, shall we? So leaves, as I mentioned before, is an expander for tree. Basically, it's eight steps of voltage sequencing, right? And so you have your sliders, which determine uh, what the value of each step is at your voltage output. But you might notice here there are actually multiple outputs, right? So you have this 
output, which corresponds to all eight sliders, right? And that's how a, you would expect a voltage sequencer to normally work. You have the eight sliders, they all go out of one output. But there's also these little subgroups that let you get um, modulation uh, uh, sources for the rest of your patch sort of for free. So you have this group of four sliders going to the four output, the first output, excuse me. You get this group of four middle sliders going to the second output this group of four bottom sliders going to the third output, and then again, all eight sliders go to the last output. So uh, some of you might be familiar with like an uh, old Roland XOX, like 303, 909, something like that. These style of sequencers give you one, the sort of main uh, lane of the sequencer being which when the note is on and which notes are playing, but then they also give you a couple of extra layers of, uh, of decision making to add on top of that. So for example, you have accents, which will make certain notes more prominent in your sequence, or you'll have slides, which make it so that on that specific note, the, um, the note that you're starting from will slowly glide up to the second note. And this gives you a lot more kind of uh, animation of your sequence than if it was just playing them statically in, in a row, right? And the nice thing about leaves is that it gives you these extra modulation outputs for free, right? Because you have this, um, this section of sliders that isn't always giving you an output, right? When the, when the sequencer position is down here, this output is off because it only corresponds with these sliders. But when you're jumping in and out of those groups, you get um, a sort of more complex uh, modulation source that can be used to bump up a filter, to make an envelope go longer, to add glide to certain steps, to turn on a distortion or a reverb on certain steps. And this lets you get a couple of extra um, modulation sources for free, essentially, from just your eight-step sequence. And now it gives you a, the possibility of adding a little bit more animation to your sequence. Each one of these outputs has its own individual transpose input, which lets you do a lot of fancy cross-patching between multiple units with other sequencers, especially when you have two tree leaf combinations. There's a lot that you can do by cross patching them together. And um, it also lets you do stuff like use tree like as an arpeggiator, for example, if you have another sequencer that is your more sort of traditional, like I'm going to write all, all the notes in a sequence and know exactly what's going to happen, then you can use tree leaves in order to sort of add a little bit of variation to that whenever you want it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and Perfect Circuit hosting me uh, to talk about my modules. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Also, check out my Instagram and YouTube, Mystic Circuit. Search me everywhere. Sounds good. Perfect. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs>